Hey up. today I'm going to do some cool edit basics. Let's jump straight in. There's two different views in cool edit. There's the wave editor view, which is this view. If you go over into this uh, corner here, there's a little button that says switch to multi-track view. If you press that, this is the multi-track view. So uh, this has got lots of different tracks. I think there's about 64 individual tracks um, that you can import waves into and mix them. Um, uh, so let's go back to the uh, the wave editor view. What's that button there? And I'm going to open a open a file. So you go file, open, and then let's do that one there. This is from a an EP that I mixed all on Cool Edit. Using um, the multi tracker, minimal effects, I think, as well. Okay, um, so in here you can do a variety of different things. Let's let's do selecting. So you just left click and drag like that. Easy enough. If you want to move a select uh, selection boundary like that, you just grab these things at the top, and you can adjust those. As you like them. Um, if you want to zoom into the left side of this boundary, you can use this button here, this middle button, transport button. And I'll zoom into the left side and zoom out is that one. If you want to zoom into the right side, that's that one there. You can see it zooming in. If you want to get a picture of the whole waveform, that's that one there. So it zooms out to the whole waveform. In this view, I do a lot of um, sort of utility stuff. You can do a fade in at this side if you want to do a fade in. I'll do all my um, effects on here. Um, so uh, the way I like to do effects is uh, I'll create a copy and then apply the effect to the copy and then insert that into the multi tracker. Um, and other things I like to do in this is if you want to convert the different file, maybe to put on CD or something like that, you go uh, edit, convert, sample type. And this is really useful. Uh, for instance, if you've got a stereo reverb and you want to convert it to mono, you'll do that. Or uh, any stereo effect that you want to convert to mono, you'll, you'll, go, you'll do it there. Um, if you've got a 32-bit or 24-bit file and you want to convert it to 16-bit for CD, which is CD um, resolution, you'd convert it here, otherwise it'll not burn onto a CD. So that's a really useful um, uh, little little program there. So cancel that. Um, if you go into edit, you'll see all these functions here. There's the copy to new. I use that a lot to create new files and to uh, faff about with them before I insert them into the multi tracker. Um, another thing that I use every now and again is insert silence. So maybe the beginning isn't long enough. So you'd insert a bit of silence. Let's do four seconds of silence there. It just inserts extra silence at the start. Yeah, another thing I do in here I, I was effects invert and that'll uh, flip the phase if you want to get some drums sounding fantastic you've got to use um, uh, phase relationships you've got to um, sort out the phase relationships between the the different microphones on the drum kit make sure that the the, the um, waveforms are completely in phase and in time and then they sound great so I'll do plenty of inverting here let's invert the phase um, 180 degrees okay so let's go into the uh, multi-tracker view and just faff around with that for a bit. So switch to multi-track and that's F12. Okay, so to insert your track into your multi-tracker, you can click and drag it like that. Now I'll move it in. Right click and drag to move it. Uh, to chop up your little bit of tape here, uh, you go to the scissors up here and that'll split your block up and right click to drag. Let me just chop another little bit off that. 
I'm going to right click to drag. So you got a little bit of uh, audio that you can move around there. Um, if you want to make a little copy of that, you can do uh, Shift and right click. I'll make a copy. Shift, right click and drag. If you want to do a like a permanent copy, it's Control, right click and drag, and that will make a a new file which pops up here, which you can save as like a new thing. Um, if you want to do uh, snap to blocks, that's really useful, and that'll enable each block to stick to the other block like that. Um, sometimes I have that on, sometimes not. Uh, other useful things are if you press Control and mouse wheel, you can zoom in. I think I've said that already. Um, on this side, if you press Control and zoom, hover your mouse over here, that'll make the track itself bigger. So you can uh, fill up your screen a bit more. This thing at the top, this green thing, you can either move this around to, as you transport, or you can change the boundary of it like this. That's really useful for zooming into things. Um, you've got uh, volume envelopes and pan envelopes here. That's your volume envelope, so you can change the the volume of something like this. So that's great. That's that's how I do the mixing in Cool Edit. It's all volume automation. You don't need to touch a mixing desk. You do it all in uh, using these um, uh, these little buttons here. These little nodules, whatever you call them. I'm going to do a pan as well, that's that one. So you can pan it left, right. You do have a pan function and a volume function over here that you can use, certainly. If you want to go and actually look at a desk, uh, I think the function on here is F3. No, it's not. You want to do the mixer, it's Alt and then 2. And that will that'll be the mixer that pops up there. So you can control individual track volumes. And you can do pan in and EQ in. So that's the, uh, that's the desk view right there, if, if you'd like to see that view. Um, I'm not going to go too much into that. Um, and that's about it. That's all the basic functions that I use a lot of the time. There's all sorts of, all sorts of great features in Cool Edit. Uh, quite complicated stuff. Um, it's a very comprehensive program. But that's some of the basic features. Chopping up waveforms, moving things around, panning, volume automation, uh, track editing, which is this. Just um, uh, and using effects, you can simply use effects from here. Um, yeah, that's all the basics that I can think of. I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you get a lot out of that. Uh, if you've got any questions or comments, please leave them below, uh, and I'll try and answer them as soon as I can. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, there's a community on Facebook uh, that you can put questions to as well, so I'll leave a link to that below. Okay, see you in the next video.